In aviation, an inline engine is a reciprocating engine with banks of cylinders, one behind another, rather than rows of cylinders, with each bank having any number of cylinders, but rarely more than six. Topic: Inline engine configurations. Straight or inline Engines with a single bank of cylinders which can be arranged at any angle but typically upright or inverted, e.g. upright ADC Cirrus, inverted de Havilland Gypsy Major, V. Engines with two banks of cylinders with less than 180 degrees between them driving a common crankshaft, typically arranged upright or inverted, e.g. upright Liberty L12, inverted Argus as 410. O or horizontally opposed. Engines with two banks of cylinders arranged at 180 degrees to each other driving a common crankshaft, almost universally mounted with banks horizontal for aircraft use, or with crankshaft vertical for helicopter use, e.g. horizontally mounted Continental O190, vertically mounted Franklin 6A CV245. W Engines with three banks driving a common crankshaft, arranged so that first and last banks are 180 degrees or less apart, e.g. upright Lorraine 12 exabits, inverted Napier Lioness. X Multiple bank engines with four banks arranged around a common crankshaft, usually spaced evenly, e.g. evenly spaced Rolls-Royce Vulture, unevenly spaced Napier Cub. Fan Engines with more than three banks with 180 degrees or less between first and last bank, akin to W engines. Note, fan engines with single cylinder banks, typically from Inzani, are usually regarded as variants of the radial engine. U Engines with two banks of cylinders side by side driving separate crankshafts geared to a single output, e.g. Bugatti U16, H. Engines with four banks of cylinders driving two crankshafts geared to a single output, in effect, two opposed engines coupled together and mounted either horizontally or vertically, e.g. horizontally Napier Sabre, vertically Napier Dagger, opposed piston. Two-stroke engines, typically compression ignition, diesel, with a single bank of cylinders driving two crankshafts where the pistons travel towards each other forming single combustion chambers, e.g. Jumo 207, Deltic, engines with three banks of opposed piston cylinders arranged in a triangle with three crankshafts geared to drive a single output, e.g. Napier Deltic, Rhomboidal, engines with four or more banks of opposed piston cylinders arranged in a square with four crankshafts geared to drive a single output, e.g. Jumo 223, Note, there is no theoretical limit to the number banks in an opposed piston engine, limitations include cost, complexity and reliability. Multiple bank Engines with more than two banks, arranged around a common axis and or crankshaft with more than 180 degrees between first and last banks, star, multiple bank engines with an even number of banks more than four, arranged around a common axis and or driving a common crankshaft with more than 180 degrees between first and last banks, e.g. Jumo 222, Dobrin and VD4K. Inline radial, multiple bank engines, usually liquid-cooled, with an odd number of banks three or more arranged around a common axis and or driving a common crankshaft with more than 180 degrees between first and last banks, e.g. air-cooled Armstrong Siddeley Deerhound, liquid-cooled BMW 803. Note the BMW 803 is not only an inline radial engine but is also a coupled engine with two engines arranged back-to-back -back on a common axis driving separate coaxial propellers through a common gearbox. Topic. Inverted engine Some inline aircraft engines, including the de Havilland Gypsy Major used in the de Havilland Tiger Moth, and the Daimler-Benz DB601 used in the Messerschmitt Bf109, were designed to be installed in airframes inverted, such that the crankshaft was at the top of the engine and the cylinder heads were at the bottom. The advantages of inverted engines included improved visibility for the pilot, improved access to cylinder heads and manifolds for the ground crew, having the center of mass of a multi-bank engine lower in the engine, and having the widest part of a multi-bank engine being closer to the midline of the fuselage, which is also generally wide. 